has become globally visible. It's become a source of revenue. It's become a source of entrepreneurial uh, development. Uh, lots of parties who neither cared nor knew about the internet have become very interested in it for different reasons. Uh, there are some entities that are feel threatened by the freedoms that the internet promises. Uh, there are other entities that would like to build um, toll roads and uh, make money out of the need for people to pass traffic between them. So there are lots of different motivations and uh, they are not necessarily all aligned. One thing which um, I think is worth reminding you of uh, is a comment that George Soros made in 1994 at an Internet Society INET meeting. Uh, George, as you may know, is a very successful uh, financier. And he comes, though, from uh, Romania, a place that was not very free for a good part of uh, his life there. And he made a very profound statement uh, at this INET meeting. He said that just because the Internet is free today, that is open and accessible, is no guarantee that it will be tomorrow. He lived in a place where suppression was the uh, rule. And I think reminding us of that observation now is very important. To the extent that we enjoy openness and freedoms in the internet today is no guarantee that they will be with us tomorrow unless we make sure that they are.